How's it going guys, it's Brief Voice here and welcome to the channel. And in this video we'll be showing you how to implement segmented control where you're able to switch between table view here. So the first one is part and the second one is fruit. So you can configure the data for each table view here. And first of all, I would like to thank Nicholas Crespo for suggesting this video uh, who says, can you change a view into custom sales table views? Well, next video will be the custom sales table views. But in this video, I'm just going to use the prototype cell in the storyboard so it's easier for you to understand the basics. And then the next video, we'll do the custom sales. All right, thank you again. And we're going to start right now. Next code, create new project, single view application, segmented control, switch, table view. Next. Create. First, let's go to main storyboard here. Click on the view controller, editor, embedded in navigation controller. And uh, I'm just going to double click here to set the title to switch table view. Then we are going to add segmented control here. And then of course, let's add table view here. All right. First of all, let's set the dedicate and data source of this table view. So I'm just going to control and drag this table view to our view controller here, data source. And again, for dedicate, and then let's add prototype cells here, just one, and you can click on the cell here and change from custom to basic and we are also going to set our the identifier so i'm just going to call it label cell and don't forget to add the constraints so i'm just going to click the whole view controller reset to suggested constraints here and we are also going to untick this one is very important this layout property will auto adjust the content inside table view to just indent down a little bit more and we don't want that one we want our content in the table view to be always on top of the table view. So we're just going to untick this one. And next, let's make the outlet connection. So I'm just going to open the assistant editor here. And I'm just going to control drag the here, the segmented control down here. And uh, we're going to make an action connection. I'm just going to call it switch table view action. And the type you have to specify to UI segmented control here. Connect. And the other one for table view, so I'm just going to control and drag the table view here to the attribute section here. I'm just going to call it table view. Connect. Let's close this one. Save the main storyboard here and just go back to view controller. So first of all, what we need is the data array. So I'm just going to copy and paste it after table view. And of course, you can just copy the data array from the description below and paste it right here. Well, let's implement our view controller, the UI table view data source, and UI table view delegate. And as you can see here, we have the two dimensional array. The first one is the first page, which is the sport, and the second one is the fruit. So we need one more attribute to specify which one we are currently on. So I'm just going to create a variable called current table view, which is an integer here. And in the view did load here, I'm just going to set the table view dot background color equal to UI color dot dark gray. And of course, we are going to set the current table view to be the first one, which is zero index. And next, we are going to implement the functions for conforming the table view protocols. The first one is number of rows in section. And we are going to return back the size of data array depending of which current table view is being displayed. So here, we're going to return the size. And then the second uh, function is cell for row at here. We're going to DQ the cell from the table view. So let cell equal to table view. Actually, it's table view, this one, yeah. Dot DQ 
previous identifier and it has to be the same identifier that we said before which is I think label cell yeah cell dot text label dot text equal to data the first one is current table view at the index path dot row and I just want to set the color of the text to be white so color label text color equal to UI color dot white and we are going to set the background as well so background color equal to UI color dot dark gray and the same as the content view of the whole cell so cell dot content view dot background color equal to UI color dot dark gray we're gonna return back this cell and I think we can just unwrap them and that's it we're done with the preparation for the table view of those two table views but what we have to implement more here is when we select our segmented control so we need to change the current table view here here corresponding to the segmented control here so I'm just gonna easily say just one line current table view here equal to sender which is segmented control uh, just like select segment index yeah this one and that's it so when we switch the segmented control the current table view will change and then after that we need to reload our table view so table view dot reload data so after the current view is changed corresponding to the selected segment index here we're gonna review I mean we are going to reload the table view and uh, it will call these two functions automatically so now uh, the size of rows in each section will change corresponding to current table view and uh, as well as for row at index so the text for each of the cell will correspondingly change depending on current table view so it just that's it so I'm just gonna run now here you go Here we go guys, we have our segmented control here. The first page is the table view containing the data of the spore. The second one is the fruit. And we have it here, perfectly functional table view right here. And we can try to switch it. Perfect. Switch it back. And that's basically it guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like or subscribe. And if you have any question or any suggestion, you can just leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, everybody, let's just keep coding. I will see you guys in the next one.